Hello and welcome back. Before I begin, I'd like to give a big thank you to XXXLizGXXX, who just became my newest subscriber. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. And by the way, when I'm thanking you for subscribing, if I perhaps ineptly pronounce your username, like I sound out the numbers wrong or something like that, I do apologize. Sometimes the names look really cool, but it's hard to figure out how to pronounce them. And now, on with the haul. This uh, week, I was just really in the zone when I went to the book thing, and so I wound up getting a lot of books, so I better get started. First, I wound up getting some young adult books, or YA books, which I don't really read that much of right now, and I never really wound up reading that much contemporary YA, because by the time I was a teenager, I was mostly reading adult books, and before then, I was mostly reading children's classics or I guess more sort of for younger readers books. But I picked up a few that looked interesting. First I got Pardon Me, You're Stepping on My Eyeball by Paul Zindel. And I know Zindel was a pretty big deal, I think he even started writing in the 70s. And he was one of the pioneers of realistic young adult fiction with teenagers with all these terrible contemporary problems. And I picked up Once Was Lost by Sarah Zarr. This was recently published, I think maybe a year or two ago. And I remember hearing about it somewhere and thinking it sounded kind of interesting. Then I got this, The Grounding of Group 6 by Julian Thompson. This one, I the title was vaguely familiar and I thought it was a neat title. Picked it up and apparently it's about a group of six kids who go to an exclusive boarding school and wound up being taken on this retreat and find out that they're on the retreat because they're going to be killed and that their parents want them to be killed and they've hired the school to kill them. And that just sounded really odd and interesting to me. And moving on from YA, I got Disgrace by J.M. Coetza. I think that's how you pronounce it. I apologize if it's not. And I've tried reading some of his other works, and I just am not that big a fan. I don't like his writing that much. I just... He, he's never really done it for me. But I've never tried this one before. And a few months ago, I saw the film adaptation, which starred John Malkovich. And I thought the film adaptation was great. I mean, the, the main character is completely unlikable, but just really interesting. So I decided to give this one a try. I got another novel, A Monk Jumped Over a Wall by Jay Nussbaum. I hadn't really heard of this before, but it looked pretty interesting. And Home to Harlem by Claude McKay. Claude McKay is the author of a more famous book called Man Child in the Promised Land, which is sort of a hybrid, I believe, autobiography and novel. And have not read that yet, but have it on my shelf and decided to pick this one up. Then I got Mammy, An Appeal to the Heart of the South, The Correct Thing to Do to Say to Wear by Charlotte Hawkins Brown. This apparently is a reissue of a book written, let's see if it'll tell me right here, in 1919, which um, was an appeal to the white women of the South to have more sympathy and understanding of their female servants. And then another novel, A Different Drummer by William Melvin Kelly. And two novels, Quicksand and Passing by Nella Larson, a couple of classics of the Harlem Renaissance. The Ordeal of Running Standing by Thomas Fall. This I had never heard of before, but apparently is a novel about a young Native American man and his problems. And it was written, I believe, it looks like it was written in the 70s, 1970, so kind of an interesting time. And then I got All God's Children, The Cult Experience, Salvation or Slavery. I'm very interested in new religious movements, which people who don't like them refer to as cults, and which is not to say that there aren't some that have some really bad stuff going on. And so this was written... I'm not sure when exactly. It looks like it might have been written in the 70s when with the Children of God, the Unification Church, all of those were sort of taking hold and provoking a good bit of anxiety. 
And got a classic, My Family and Other Animals by Gerald Durrell. Durrell wrote a classic that was a one of my fa one of my childhood favorites called The Fantastic Flying Journey, and I love that book so much. I read it several times, so I feel like I should be exploring some of his other work. Then I got The Best of C. M. Cornbluth, who is a science fiction writer. I think he may have written a novel called The Syndic, which I tried to read and couldn't really get into, but this is his best, so gotta give it a try. And another novel, The Ant-Men by Eric North. And I picked this up because I seem to remember my father telling me about this book, and um, it just, I'm not sure it'll be quite up my alley at my age where I am now, but I figured, you know, I should give it a try because it clearly made an impression on him. And then I got The End of Dreams, three short stories by James Gunn. So excited to find this because James Gunn wrote a really cool science fiction novel I read recently called Campus, and that's Campus with a K which was really more of an academic satire and a comment on the campus rebellions in the 60s and 70s than a real bona fide science fiction novel, but I really enjoyed it, so I'm looking forward to reading more of his work. Then I got Poetry and the Age by Randall Jarrell. He's just a famous critic and poet in his own right, and this is a pretty famous work of literary criticism. And I got Fortunate Son by Walter Mosley. I was really excited to find this because I think Walter Mosley is a great writer, and but I'm not really that interested in the Easy Rollins series just because I'm not a big historical fiction fan. So I was really excited to find one that is not in that series. And then I got Goodwill Days, which is in the Our American Holidays series, which was published. I'm not sure exactly when it was published, but it's a pretty old series of books. And I've picked up quite a few of these, Fourth of July, Mother's Day, Flag Day, but I had no idea what Goodwill Days were. And apparently it's a group of holidays that they had at the time that were promoting racial solidarity and racial um, tolerance. And so I found that really interesting, and I'm just interested in general in this series. And some more science fiction. Left Hand of Darkness by Ursula Le Guin. Cowboy Fing's Space Bar and Grill by Stephen Brust. The Pritcher Mass by Gordon R. Dixon. The Investigation by Stanislav Lem. The Time, the Time Hoppers by Robert Silverberg. I just read a book of his called The Second Trip, which I liked. And then, ah, this, first I have to show you the spine. This is the best of Damon Knight. His name was familiar to me, and I kind of figured, what the heck, I should give it a try. And then I opened it, or I pulled out the cover, and look, it's a couple of piggies reading. So I had to get this. They look like pigs to me anyway. And got some more. I got the collected poems of Sir Thomas Wyatt. And Understanding James Dickey. I read Dickey's novel Deliverance, and I really enjoyed it. And I have these all these kind of weird personal interpretations and theories about it, so I'm curious to see if anybody else has ever felt that way. I got Doctor in Love, a novel by Richard Gordon. Two novels by Frederick Buchner, Lion Country and Open Heart. Dune by Frank Herbert. Then I got a novel I've already read, but um, had checked out of the library and didn't have a copy of, The Moviegoer by Walker Percy. Absolutely love this book, incredibly depressing, but highly, highly recommended. And then I got Ariadne's Thread, a collection of contemporary women's journals. Rushes by John Reiki, who wrote a great book called City of Night, which I absolutely loved, and looking forward to reading more by him. 
I'm very glad YouTube has extended the time to 15 minutes this time around, so I'm going to be going a little long. Zen Effects, The Life of Alan Watts. He's a pretty important countercultural figure, so I'm just curious to find out about him. Then a couple of John Updike novels. I have to say, I'm not really an Updike fan. I don't like his writing that much, but Couples is a pretty important novel of its time, so I figured I should give it a try. And then I, ha I already have Rabbit Run, and so I picked up one of the sequels, Rabbit is Rich, just in case I really like Rabbit Run. And I got The Journal of Joyce Carol Oates, 1973 to 1982. As I may have mentioned before, Joyce Carol Oates was one of the first contemporary adult writers I really started to read. And although I've discovered some problems I have with her writing since then, I still find her work really interesting and I'm curious to read her journals. And then Harlot's Ghost, a novel of the CIA by Norman Mailer. Pretty chunky as you can see. I have kind of a love-hate relationship with Mailer. I was not crazy about Why Are We in Vietnam or Our Armies of the Night, and his whole persona I find a little irritating. But then I read An American Dream, which I absolutely loved, so I'm willing to keep giving him a chance. And then, speaking of love-hate relationships, I got My Life as a Man by Philip Roth. Um, he wrote The Human Stain, which is a really important book to me. Um, but which I kind of hated, but it had some, it was extremely influential on my own work. And then he wrote a couple other novels I just could not stand. But then I started, re I read The Professor of Desire, which I really liked, and Goodbye Columbus, which I liked. So I'm going to, once again, continue giving him chances. And then I got Catch-22 by Joseph Heller, which I wasn't sure would be right up my alley, but I just read Good as Gold by Heller which I really liked, and this is supposed to be his best, so why not? And then last but not least, ending on kind of a random note, I got Docamo by Maurice Leinhardt, which is a French anthropological book about Melanesia. And if you've made it this far, thanks for watching, and I hope you'll join me for my next video.